Hi, this is Vanessa with Fitness 23 in San Jose, California and Las Vegas, Nevada. Welcome to your at-home workout and today we're going to work on building you some nice pretty shoulders and tightening up that waist. Let's go. Okay, so since today we are doing your shoulders and your waist, let's do a warm up to start you up. We really want to warm up this lower back so you're super comfortable in doing these exercises today. All right, I'm gonna reach up, I'm gonna take your elbow to your knee, really round your back forward, breathe out as you do this. Super important today that in all these exercises, you really think of keeping this core engaged. It's gonna be a lot of twisting today. Of course, shoulder work's always so much fun. Change sides. Here we go. Nice, even breathing. Always remember you don't have that foot go down behind you, go down right next to you. Nice straight hips. Couple more. Arms are straight out. And go side to side. Have to be really going too far. Just enough because remember this is just a warm up. Get the heart rate up a little bit. Get those joints moving. Get the blood flow to the muscles. Other side. Here we go. Nice warm up for your shoulders. All you're going to need for today's workout is a couple of dumbbells. I use seven pounders. You can use whatever size works for you, and then maybe one heavier one. So I'll use a 10 pounder for the heavier one, and your mat today. That's all you're gonna need. Okay, spread your feet out. Little knee band, all my weight is here in my mid thigh. I'm gonna touch and twist, back to center. Touch, twist, back to center. Breathe out as you go down. Really twisting through that center core, keeping it really engaged. Feel this in your lower back. Couple more. See if I'm keeping my hands in the fist the whole time. It's about keeping my arms engaged, keeping those muscles warm. All right, time for us to exercise. Okay, a very simple exercise to start. We're gonna do both legs at half a minute. So as the opposite arm comes to the floor, make sure it's fully on the floor, flat. It's a nice twist at the torso and work out in your shoulders at the same time. A Little bit of cardio for you since we're really using the whole body here. Remember it's 30 seconds on each side. So as soon as you finish one leg and you watch that timer, we're going to the other side. Now remember, everybody has a stronger side and a weaker side, so it'll always feel different when you change sides and go to the other side. This is a great exercise with a full body twist. So you wanna put your butt down about 70% and then twisting up to the other side all the way through the body. Great for your shoulders, obviously great to get those obliques fired up. Remember we're doing 30 seconds on each side. Nice and even, try to stay with me. Nice full twist. Obliques are fired now. Feeling a lot in those thighs also. Big stretch with those shoulders.
Okay, here we go. We're gonna punch it out two times on one side. Full twist, make sure your full body's into that twist. And keep that punch with a full rotation of the hand, shoulder height. Remember, 30 seconds each side, make it nice and even. It's a double punch. Back to the center, double punch. This is a straight 45 seconds, just working on that deltoid of your shoulder. Make it really nice and even. This is a lot of work. I'm gonna start burning about 10 seconds in. I'm just trying to be nice and even, keeping it shoulder height, pushing it up at a nice even pace. Here we go, 30 seconds, full core twist. I'm obviously going to the right the first time. We're gonna do 30 seconds on each side. We're really firing up those obliques. Leg comes up, arms go sideways. Weight keeps you nice and even, make it nice and even. Just giving you a sideways view. Legs coming up a little bit over my waist. Feel those obliques down, they're probably starting to burn. Here's that side view. See, I'm bringing my knee up a little bit over my waist. Okay, here we go for 45 seconds of full overhead press. You see I'm actually looking up at the waist as it goes all the way up. Being really tall, big full extension with the arms. You bring those arms all the way down. You're gonna feel this all the way through your rib cage and of course, working those deltoids to make those shoulders. Back to one side at 30 seconds and then the other side at 30 seconds. You want to come back to center and push those weights down and bring them back to your waist. Nice little twist through the waist. Nice of holding up those arms, working those shoulders. If you have extra weights in your house, this is a great exercise to do a couple more pounds than a lot of the exercises we've been doing. 
but this repetition is fantastic. So as you see in this video, we're not just doing a couple of reps and quitting. We're actually doing a full 30 seconds on each side. Doing constant repetition like this is what builds definition. You don't need large, big weights. You just need to do a lot of reps continuously. Right in the middle of the body. You're gonna go down in your legs about 70%, and then just jerk that arm up and that elbow nice and high up over your shoulder. Big extension there. It's a little bit of work through the waist. Obviously, big shoulder work here. You see here, I'm using a little bigger weight than I was for the other exercises. You can do a couple more pounds on this. Keep a nice, even pace when you change sides. And it's that nice, continuous up and down motion, not starting or stopping a bunch at either the bottom or the top. Hey, it's time for a water break. Pet the dog, grab some water, but don't eat a sandwich, don't eat any M&Ms, because we're going to mat work. Okay, here we go. This is gonna be a tough 45 seconds. We're walking forward and backwards on the mat. Trying to keep our back nice and flat. Keeping those shoulders over your wrist. This is huge for the core, obviously huge for the shoulders. You can see my triceps are working really hard. Deltoids are sticking out. This is big work and we're doing it for a long time at 45 seconds. You can do it just on the floor if you're comfortable with that, with your feet off the mat, depending how long your mat is and how comfortable you are. But you want to keep a little padding underneath those hands or those wrists. the best exercise for both of these parts of the body. Obviously, I'm holding myself up on the shoulder with these side planks, going up and down nice and even, having to engage that core to help myself up and down. Boy, the shoulders start to scream about now, which is okay, because we're gonna switch sides pretty soon. Try to keep your feet really parallel and the one foot on top of the other, being as even as you possibly can. even going up and down. Remember there's always one arm that's stronger than the other, one side of the body that's stronger. Just try to be as even as you can going up and down using those obliques. All right, here we go. Push yourself up. When you get up, kick that leg out. Big work on the shoulder, big work on the back. Getting that 
Waist fired up. A lot of body work here. Try to be nice and consistent, evenly. 30 seconds on one leg, and then we're gonna switch legs to the other leg. Nice big extension you can see through my pectoral muscles. Big work here. Try to make your breathing as even and consistent as possible. Back's getting tired on the second side. Try to push up and up as high as you can. Keeping the hands nice and quiet. You see my shoulders are straight over my wrists when I get up there. Here we go with a twisting sit up. This is huge on that waist. Bring the leg up, elbow goes to the opposite knee. We're doing 30 seconds on each side. This is the, really the best exercise you can get to get that core really nice and tight. Nice twisting motion in that back and in that core. that body is coming up off the mat. Don't just have the leg meet the elbow. It's all about your upper body coming off the mat. Keep your hands behind your head as much as possible. Here we go, we're balancing on our butt, using our core to balance, and we're gonna add some difficulty by doing an alternating toe tap to the outside of the foot. If you see my hand, it's actually going to the outside of my foot, just to get that full body twist. We're doing this for a full 45 seconds. This is brutal. Everything's having to work here. You can see my thighs are having to work. Obviously, my shoulders are working. You can see the definition in them from this. Huge to be able to hold yourself up for 45 seconds, continuously twisting and moving. Here we go, it's a full 60 second plank. You want your shoulders over your elbows, your head in a neutral position. This is my core that's holding me up in that straight position. You can see all my thigh muscles are engaged. Also, obviously, you can see my shoulders are engaged. Concentrate on a nice, even breathing. If you can't do the full 60 seconds, drop down to your knees for a couple seconds and come right back up. I know you can get to the 60 seconds eventually, and it's such an amazing exercise to tune up this whole body. Stretching is a portion of exercise that has to happen. Stretching is what actually keeps you from being injured. So I'm gonna take you through a few stretches here. Obviously this stretch does my back and my legs. I flex those feet toward my face, but really get that nice lower back loose, having the hamstrings loose. Pulling my leg into my body, stretching out where the glute actually joins to the hamstring, getting that hip complex to stretch out. 
Hold most of your stretches for a minimum of 10 to 15 seconds, max 20 to 30 seconds, depending on what part of the body you're stretching. Full twist of the back. Now don't force this stretch, but boy, this feels fantastic on the spine. You got that full twist. Simple, just cross your legs. Hopefully your knees aren't too high in the air. If they are, just go with it. Don't worry about it. So here I've placed my leg underneath me with my foot going to the opposite side stretching out my hip complex. Now I'm stretching out my back by pushing myself up. Remember you always have one hip tighter than the other. So I need to do a few extra seconds on that one side to get it to relax. Thank you for joining me at Fitness 23. Great job today working those shoulders and getting that nice tight waist. Feel free to send me an email or shoot me a text message if you have any questions or concerns or any kind of exercises you would like to see. Remember, I have a gym in San Jose, California at Train with V. I also have Fitness 23 Las Vegas. And of course, don't forget, I have a nonprofit exercise in the streets, which gives running shoes to incarcerated youth. Have a great day.